Hey guys, Ian Preston here. We're going to be watching Bringing Down the House. Um, this is the next um, episode. It's going to be a two-part episode, I think. Um, yes, written by one of the greatest Loud House writers, in my opinion. I mean, he's all right. Kevin Sullivan. And um, and the director of the Loud House movie. Um, shout out to you, Kevin Sullivan. Thank you for making that episode. I wonder if he wrote all these episodes, actually. If he wrote all these episodes, I have a feeling he did, but... I don't know anything about this one, but let's get into it. Let's react. So they're going to the White House. Are they going to show the president? And is he going to be voiced by a real president? That's just a wild guess. It's, ooh, it looks good as a cartoon. Who is, who are you? Who are you? <sighs> Tourists. Osley Bullsworth? So is he, he just the president in the Loud House? Jiminy! This is a crazy event of the Loud House. I almost didn't want to react to it, but I'm like, what the heck? So are you the U.S. president? Well, maybe in the Loud House he is. Okay, okay, Jiminy Bulldog. <laughs> I like how they all looked. I feel like I'm not laughing so... I didn't... When I was first watching this, I didn't... I was like, I don't think I'm going to like this event of the Loud House, but now I'm starting to laugh my butt off at this. Oh, gosh! Like, okay, okay, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Jeez. Excuse me, Mr. Bulldog, sir, but this is the seventh tallest 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 t
What are you gonna? That's the first lady's boutique. Lola's like, Lola's gonna love this. What about Lenny? Lenny's the fashionista. Oh yeah, Lola, you look you look just like that when you were about to eat some. In ruthless people, she almost looked like that when she was about to eat some some butterscotch pudding at that Sunset Canyon, and she didn't get to. In ruthless people. Well, you could be first female president. He's like this. So. You guys are going to have to make up another excuse or else he's going to... He's like, shut up. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, please make your way to the White House station. Whatever. That is one strange little man. Kids, I'm sorry you didn't get the tour you hoped for, but I'm proud of you for being so good. Now, who wants to hit the hotel pool? <gasps> Wait. What? We can't leave. There's one little problem. <coughs> oh, gosh. Make that three problems. You screwed up the machine. What did you screw up, Lola? You ripped a dress. Rita is ham furious. What did you do? No, make it 11. You went in the president's office? What did you do, Lynn? Senior? Oh, he went in the White House kitchen. You screwed up the president's cake! Now sure as heck you will. Her hair, she almost looks like Principal Valenzuela from the Casa Grandes. Let's go. Wait, Lori, only Lenny does that. Lori, oh, Lenny can do that, though. Lenny's a good sewer. Lenny. You tucked up, tucked out one of her hairs. <laughs> it just grew back. Do 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 do. No, no. Do 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 do. Looks nice. I think. Yeah, lady. What did you do to those cameras? Oh, they're all, they didn't do anything. It's all in surveillance. They're just screwed. Well, you have to make up another excuse. The girl, the lady looks like Principal Valenzuela. Thank you. We gotta go. Bye. Wanna... Doggone it. It's a restricted area. What did you do? You're gonna fix that too. Right. Oh, shoot. You're the president. He's like, too bad for you. Can you just get out of there? Why are you just sitting, standing there going, ooh, 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 ooh.
First lady loves the new design of her dress. First lady likes that. No, oh, so he's not the president. He's just a. And you snuck some frosting off the new cake, and it's even more delicious than the smooch one. What? All right, hang on. He wants to talk to you. We get to hear his real voice. Hello, Mr. President. This is read aloud. Is he voiced by the R president? Thank you, sir. Thanks. I'm confused. My bad about earlier. I might have been confused. So you're going to his birth? We'll find out probably in part two. So he's not the president. We'll see the actual president in this, probably. Yeah, he said you suck. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I had to get myself together. Well, that's on your... It's on you, jerk. <laughs> but anyway, um... That this was part one. I think there will be a part two to bringing down the house. So it's almost like a reference to um, what is that called? Um, what is that episode called? That song um by the Talking Heads um burning down the house. Oh wait, no, that was the episode. Um, stay tuned for this was the episode, and um, I gotta say um, it was a pretty good episode. Um, hang on a sec. Okay, okay, we didn't get to see them at the the president's you know, um, birthday party, but, um, that's all right. Um, um, this was a good episode, um, um, bringing down the house and, and it's a good thing that the president liked what they did. And it's never been the, the bowling room's never been smoother and all. And the ice cream tastes good. The first lady likes the dress and everything is awesome. I just referenced something else, but um, other than that, um, this episode was an okay one too. So I'll give this episode also a seven out of ten. Stay tuned for the next episode, a couple more episode reactions that we have to do. So yeah, stay tuned.